This is my Jeep. It's a cool Jeep. It's an off-road Jeep. You can tell by the mud grips on it. It's really fast. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times two is 18. It's an 18, 23 speed. Cause you got three gears on it and you times it times two and it's nine. So 18, 23, probably when it was made. Um, so I can't remember when I got it. I actually don't think it's mine, but I got it. So you kind of seen it already. I guess just show you some cool angles on it. Do some driving videos. Okay, hey there YouTube. Welcome to Farm and Ranch Daily, Far More Ranch Daily. I'm Gabe and I'm out of breath. Let me breathe for a second. That's nice. Um, I really don't know if I should do this while I'm out of breath. But, this is Gonna be kind of one of three videos disclaiming how I started two Cummins swaps. This is part one and it'll be about this truck here, my first truck. It's a 1970 Ford. Um, was originally an F-250 inline six with the four speed. Had a different bed on it. I drove it around as my high school truck. Um, so, eventually I blew the motor up. It had a 300 inline six in it. And, sorry, this is really bad content. But, um, this is basically Gonna be my first come and swap here where I started doing come and swap. Now it's on an 88 one ton four wheel drive frame. Um, a little backstory on the Galena thing there. It was the fire truck for Galena, Kansas. I don't know when, but what years it was in the service there. And I'm guessing it was an originally a military truck then went to forestry and I wouldn't think there'd be anything forestry in Galena. I don't know that much about it. So I'm guessing then a Galena fire truck means forestry was painted over. Don't know for certain, but if you look here, it's all military green, military green on the inside and it's been repainted red. It also had some gold stripes. I don't know anything about the gold stripes. But it was military green with gold stripes. It has someone's name written here on the military green. I don't know if that was a driver of it or what. Um, so I'm kind of assuming, oh yeah, there's a VIN plate in here. If you can look at those plates. It's 
kind of seems like it was a government truck. So I'm assuming it was a military truck. Then went to be a fire and forestry truck or something. Um, I put it, it was my high school truck, two wheel drive. Ended up having issues. It's my favorite truck, my favorite body style truck. This is a 1970. Um, Who? 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 Who asked? Okay. <laughs> Everyone watching this wondered. <laughs> True. Um, or maybe they didn't, but. Um, I would like a 12 valve Cummins four wheel drive. So this is an 88 one ton Ford I had frame. I screwed up that truck. So it's on a one ton frame right now, four wheel drive, single tire. And hopefully I'll be putting a 12 valve in here soon. 12 valve Cummins. My, some of the goals for this truck would be same old paint with clear coat on it, 12 valve Cummins, um, probably a five speed manual. I'd like to, this is a seat out of a 94 Ford I had. I wrecked that one. It's got the armrest in it and cup holders. I think I'd like cup holders in that and to do either a brown leather, maybe redo the door panels. Um, probably put a bed liner or a vinyl mat on the floor. Um, probably build my own gauge cluster. I don't know if I'll have a dash pad or not. I don't know if that'll stay the headliner. Maybe it will. Maybe I'll go with cowhide or leather or something. Um, because you have to be politically correct nowadays. What the hell is even that? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on the bed. It's going to either, my first idea was box it in square tubing, go about two foot back of steel, and a foot from the back of here steel, and then walnut boards in between, with square tubing in, the, in between them, raised a little bit. So I had the old look, but yet I could still mount a welder or something to the front, and I could bolt or weld anything to the back and then put a, incorporate a bail spike into the back. It was kind of my plans, but of course plans change. So now I kind of want to build maybe a newer looking arm bed for it. Don't know yet the route will go with that. It did have a headache rack on it. That's laying around somewhere. It will have a headache rack. I'm not too big of a fan on the no headache rack. Um, Anything else about this or anything else I should say? What are some of your favorite stories about it? Sheesh, driving across the field. I He told me to throw it in. Uh, he said, give it gas, give it gas. And uh, that's what I heard at least, but he was saying let off gas. So I just kept revving her, even though she was in, what was she in, like first, second? Yeah, you were in first. First time driving gears, a manual. Just hammering on it and uh, tearing up transmission. But it was a fun story. First time I drove a uh, manual. And I think first time I drove in general. I like the truck. That's like a few things I can remember about it. Oh, and then family picture took on it. Except for without the parents. Is and, it okay uh, if I say who you are? You want to be in this? Yeah, yeah. I might have a channel eventually. It's... Uh, no, that's not my real... We're not going to give it my real name. So, uh, <laughs> I'm Point Break. Nope, not going to be Point Break. But you can keep that in there. Sheesh, I can't think of a YouTube name. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can call me Jose. Sorry about sounding all nasally and stuff. I've been sick, so... If you're one of those people who drive around in your car with your mask on and you're by yourself at home right now watching YouTube, you might want to put your mask on so you don't get sick from me. But... Um, Virtual safety. The um, goal for this channel is I like old farm and ranch trucks. I know a lot of people with them. I haven't seen many YouTube channels or groups dedicated to like old farm trucks. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff on here, hopefully make some better content. But this channel is basically gonna be for old farm and ranch trucks. 
um, there's going to be for certain several old diesel farm and ranch trucks <laughs> on here. So, um, I guess you can be looking forward to diesel builds and farm and ranch videos, farm and ranch truck builds and on other people's farm and ranch trucks they've had for years, maybe stories on them and stuff. And maybe some car content and some other content on some other pickups and vehicles we have around here. But for just the starter for the how I started to come Cummins builds is we have this truck here, my high school truck. And it's gonna be a three part video of just the explaining. This would be the first part on this truck. I bought a motor for this truck, but it's not gonna work. So the next thing you can look forward to is a video on the motor that was gonna go in here, but isn't going in here. I'm gonna get a different motor. So we'll do a video on that motor next. So look for that. Yeah, you guys can be expecting a lot of stuff where we do things with components and maybe even launch projectiles. Who knows? Actually, projectiles would be pretty fun. Yes, uh, we'll um, have a, we'll do that on some of our uh, YouTube stuff. That fits stuff. into farm and range, doesn't it? Well, thank you guys for watching. See you next time, hopefully on a motor build video or a motor video for another Cummins project. Or something that holds your interest. Yeah.